Doing this, Martin from Gardens for Life. I just want to give you guys an update on um, the spring tuber grow challenge, uh, where we're growing uh, six different varieties of uh, tubers, ancient tubers in uh, pots, and we're going to um, harvest them on video at the end of the growing season and then do a raffle for anyone that wants to enter. And it's free to enter and it's free to subscribe to our website. All you have to do is follow the link below in the description or in the comments and uh, Ask us if you have any questions. Here's the, um, uh, uh, the tubers themselves growing now. I haven't actually moved the pots, it's, so there's 12 pots with um, two of each type of tuber. There is um, uh, New Zealand uh, ochre, red and white, or red and gold I should say. And um, there is two different varieties of uh, Jerusalem artichoke, uh, Fusio and Red Fusio. And there is uh, two different Mashuas as well. So there is um, Amarillo which is the yellow one, and there is uh, the Blanca, which is the common one that people actually grow to eat. And, um, and they're all, uh, they all edible, and uh, you can uh, prepare them in different ways, or some of them you can even eat raw as well. So, check it out. And so, here are the, the 12 buckets. Yeah, there's other things actually growing in behind here, don't mind that. Um, this is just in the middle of the nursery. Um, here you can see, so this is the, the yellow or golden ochre, it's doing very well. We did, we did um, have a video on uh, harvesting ochre grown in, um, in pots and Jesus, you do get about, possibly about 30 out of one tuber if you grow it in a large enough pot. This is about a 10 litre pot here and um, the mash was actually uh, 12 litres I'd say that is at least. And um, you can see the Jerusalem artichokes is more of an experiment. I have grown them in pots before. They did do very well, but you have to keep them watered. And uh, last couple of years we did have some dry spells in the summer. And hopefully this year we'll have some dry spells too, because in Ireland it always rains. And, um, but we know that the ochres are very reliable uh, at cropping uh, in, um, in grown in pots. We've also mulched these as you can see and I have kept them watered whenever it doesn't rain for a while um, but you don't really water them very often maybe about every every week or so unless it's really hot so it depends on where you live where in the world in Ireland it never really gets that hot only last June um, you can see the leaves look a bit like um, uh, clover and they actually fold in at night so um, I must take a picture of them at night and I'll show you uh, they just fold in and um, in the morning then once the sun comes up you can see here they're kind of folded in a little bit they uh, fold out again a bit like solar panels well isn't that what a leaf is in theory and um, uh, the mashuas they they can do very well in pots and we haven't really grown them in la that larger pots before so it'll be a great experiment to us all and um, yeah so here is actually it looks what looks like um, Another plant that snuck its way in here, I think it's a Chinese artichoke. We didn't put it in here on purpose, but if we end up with some Chinese artichokes, we'll throw them in as a bonus um, for those of you that want to enter the, the tuber challenge. Um, yeah, so that's them here. They're going really well. This is um, the first week of um, June, so early on in the growing season yet. It'll be at least um, another two months before these plants will have grown to full size and then retreat again into the ground and all its all and retrieve all of their energy um, back into the tuber. And that's where you get most of the tuber growth, and that is in autumn or late summer, especially after the first frost in um, September or October. So thanks again for watching and if you'd like to enter the tuber challenge uh, for free uh, for the raffle at the end of the growing season you can just follow the link um, in the description or in the comments below depending on whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube and uh, please note that we only ship to Europe because of the freshness of the tubers we wouldn't like them to spend too much time in the post and for the rest of you in the rest of the world um, sure you got the videos at least you'll see 
um, whether the experiment works and how much of a harvest you can expect if you're going to grow these ancient vegetables yourself at home in pots. Thanks very much for watching again. Bye bye.